Hey folktale lovers, today I'm diving into the enchanting story of the papaya. Sit back, relax, and let me take you on a journey to the heart of the Philippines, where this magical tale begins. A long time ago, in a small village surrounded by lush forests and sparkling rivers, there lived a kind-hearted and beautiful girl named Maria. Maria was loved by everyone in the village for her generosity and compassion. But her true gift was her voice. When she sang, it felt like the heavens themselves paused to listen. One day, an old, weary traveler arrived at the village. He was tired and hungry, and none of the villagers paid him any attention. That is, except for Maria. She offered him food and a place to rest, treating him with the utmost kindness. Little did she know, this traveler was no ordinary man. He was a Diwata, a deity in disguise, testing the hearts of humans. Touched by Maria's kindness, he revealed his true identity to her and offered to grant her one wish. Maria, humble as ever, wished for something that could help her village and bring joy to her people. The Diwata smiled and gave her a small seed, instructing her to plant it in the village's soil. Maria did as she was told, and to everyone's amazement, a tree quickly sprouted from the ground. It bore large golden fruits that smelled of the sweetest nectar. The villagers named it papaya. The papaya tree became a source of sustenance and joy for the entire village. Its fruits were not only delicious but also had healing properties. Maria's wish had come true, bringing prosperity and happiness to her people. And so, the papaya tree stands as a symbol of kindness and generosity. Every time you enjoy a juicy papaya, remember the story of Maria and her wish to spread joy and goodness. Thanks for tuning in, folktale lovers. If you enjoyed this enchanting story, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more magical tales. See you next time.